August pushes away from their desk, swiping the still glowing vial as they stand. They cradle it gently in their palm before it's shoved firmly into the draw where it came from. <laughs> what next? What can we do? Dungeons, 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 dungeons. I think you should speak to Piper. She might know more than me, especially after her snooping. Dungeons, dungeons, dungeons. I stand too, my touch lingering dungeons, upon dungeons, those discarded dungeons, papers. Dungeons, dungeons, dungeons. Okay, when dungeons. you were a kid, did you have that cassette that had hey, like, the footprints, footprints, dinosaur footprints. Might be big, might be small. No. Forget the footprints, footprints, footprints. Like, no? No one? Okay. Mm. I don't, I think I might have, I, okay, I didn't make it up. I know it existed, but I've never met anyone else who knows what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm sure it exists. I'm not doubting that it exists. I'm Is this the first time we've no, cursed this whole that. time? How, 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 Me? Fu- no, I said fuck. Um, how, no, you, you said fuck at the beginning of the episode when you had to speak. Or you said goddamn it, maybe. Oh, uh, you're probably, I, I, I have two curses and it's fucking goddamn. Um, <laughs> yeah. I want to go into the dungeons. I want to see her. They're about to tell me that she is dead. They avert their gaze, cheeks rosy, their frustration evident. I cannot authorize that. Not when I know that would put your position in jeopardy. August, you're too cautious. I'm not Piper. Just do better than you did with Piper. Just do better. They thoughtlessly <laughs> slide their... Just do better, obviously. I'm built they different. Slide their hand ac- <laughs> they thoughtlessly slide their hand across the back of their chair, cutting me a sympathetic stare. I can't have a repeat of what happened with Piper, Sarah. I'm built different. I'm built different. Their concern is etched all over their face, and it makes my heart hurt. I realize that they truly do care for me. That we've known each other a week, apparently. The guilt from what happened with Piper obviously eats at them, and maybe our added closeness makes it a little more personal to them. Maybe... August, I swear to you that nothing will happen to me. I know what I'm doing. You seem very sure of that. Of yourself. As I should be. I can't lose you two. It's different than it was with Piper. I. It's different than it was with Piper. Yeah, it's gay. It's gay. It's gay shit. Bigger than it was with Piper. They avert their gaze, worrying their bottom lip between their teeth. Oh. When they look back at me, they take a step forward, reaching for my hand. This is the second time. I knew you watched the last episode. This is gonna be the second time that we held hands in this evening on this day in this office while it's glowing all pretty colors. Hand holding count. Two. Two. I care for you. And that may sound idiotic. I know we've only been acquainted for a mere week, but... What? I squeeze their fingers when they're where they lazily twine with my own, as if August is unsure if their affection will be returned. I think if someone lets you hold their hand, dude, like, I think you're probably okay. It's over. If they don't bat you away immediately, you're probably, like, exactly. clear. I feel it, too. Oh. I see. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just so funny to me. Because they're like, I have feelings for you. And then we're like, yeah, me too. And they're like, oh. Did not, <laughs> could not have foreseen, who could have foreseen this, <laughs> this outcome. Who could have seen this coming? Even though you've been <sighs> flirting with them, like, literally every time you see them. Literally, even like, we flirted, like, five times. <laughs> even though they're your boss. Even though they're my boss. Well, then I'm sure you can understand my predicament here. <laughs> yeah. But also, fuck are you. I nod, because I do understand. I would hate to see August punished for any of my actions. Then just pretend like you didn't know. I do. But I need you to just trust me on this one. I won't do anything to get either of us in trouble. Their hand falls limply from my own, their gaze nervously flicking towards their the very locked door. The very locked door? <laughs> it's thoroughly locked? I do trust you. I just don't trust anyone else. Wow. A week we've known each other. <laughs> no, How long months. have you known everybody else here? It's been six months. How long have you known Harry? Not in fiction! Know, yeah. Whatever you have in mind, be careful. We just got the green light to f- cause problems. I think we just got the green light to fuck around and crime. find out. <laughs> We're gonna fuck around and find out. <laughs> We're gonna find out. Can you? Can I you smile name? Because are you allowed to like put curse words in the names? Can you like name this one in which we fuck around I, and find out? 
literally was just thinking of what emoji I should use to censor the you in fuck. <laughs> because I want to make that... Because I think I have done that before. I think I put like a little dog emoji or something in, a, in an Alcar episode. I can't oh, remember. But it's fun to use emojis to censor things. Anyway, I smile because I know exactly what I need to do and who I need to help me do it. I don't. I don't. I don't. They watch me intently, lips quirking into a small smile as they watch my face light up. You have a plan, don't you? I do, but I'm not sure you're going to like it. <laughs> you may not <laughs> Did approve. Did you see their expression change? They <laughs> spell, yeah. You may, you may not approve, but we have a few allies that probably know the dungeons better than any hunter or enforcer ever could. The dramatic and sudden roll of their eyes tells me they know exactly who I'm talking about. Speak of the devil. You want to enlist a bunch of vampires to help us break into the enforcement dungeons? Maybe. Not a bunch, just the one. <laughs> Finn has lived in this town longer than, well, literally anyone. I'm right about that. You can't tell me that I'm wrong about that. August scoffs loudly. Shut up. Lived. He's as dead as a doornail. I don't care. He's sentient. He can think and feel and love and 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 hate. I I think that counts as living. Also, he would know the things that we need him to know. Shut up, August is what I'm saying. So you're just going to walk into the dungeons, Casimir and Ho, and hope not to get caught. Yes. Like, that's exactly I smile what I'm going to do. <laughs> well, at least you're on the same page. I smile at their obvious distaste for my plan. Ezra, Piper, even Alcar. They can all help, too. Fine, all the characters that have names. Yeah, Do I have your permission to proceed? A pregnant pause follows my question, but eventually August meets my gaze once more. You have my permission. Fuck yeah, let's go! But please be cautious. I am no wiser than you here, and I cannot protect you if something goes wrong. It's fine. You know, I came, came here to make something of myself. I was so desperate to move out of my parents' shadow because I had come from a family that held me to such high standards. Mm. Standards I could never dream of meeting, no matter how hard I tried. Mm. Their words grow terser as the second passes, unraveling gradually. I don't want this to be my legacy, Sarah. I want to make the world a better place, not a scarier one. I gather that August suffered through much frustration, and life has weathered them to the bone. They quickly gather themselves, but their pupils quiver. Oh. <laughs> and I just picture the pupils, like, wiggling. Yeah, it's not very... I won't let you down. I don't doubt that, actually. Good. Peace out. I head back to my room at the Wolf to clear my head and try to figure out my hastily concocted plan a little more thoroughly, thoughtfully. I stay up pondering the fact that we still haven't been given the name of the latest victim, and I wonder if Harry is keeping it from me for a reason. It's me. I was the latest victim. After my conversation with August, everything feels wrong. A quick, sharp pain rises in my temples, and I can feel that familiar presence looming, lurking. Oh man, what was this guy's name? Oh, I remember that episode. James? I was really upset. James, yeah, oh, James. Tell me about it, James. It would appear that no voices. Damn it! God will damn visit it, me James. tonight, though. <laughs> James, it is. James. Brooms. Our brooms! Our friends because are brooms. <laughs> okay. Because apparently nothing is sacred in this town, I managed to coax Piper's address out of Edna with very little persuasion. I head across the street, unsurprised that she lives so close to the tavern, and as far away from headquarters as possible. Her house is small, but it appears to have character, much like its owner. Ooh, we haven't seen the inside of her house. I take a deep breath and I knock. Ah! She looks surprised to see me, but her what expression her quickly voice? softens. What was her voice? I don't know. I don't remember Piper's voice. Was it... Irish? I, I, I there's no there's no universe in which I can do an Irish accent, so it was not. Okay, well I it was then, probably a little bit more cockney, it, but not quite. It was just cockney, yeah. I'm just gonna try it. Sarah, I wasn't expecting you expecting you, especially because I assumed you had no bloody idea where I live, but I'll take it. 
Are you okay? I'm peachy. A timid smile crosses- I should sit up in my chair. I'm very far away from the microphone. Okay. A timid smile crosses my lips. I definitely don't think this is a conversation to be had in the street, so... Can we talk? Oh, sorry. Of course, come in. I can't do this fucking accent. It's good, it's fine, it's great, it's good. Oh, plants! Same. Her house is warm and inviting. The walls adorned with an abundance of gorgeous weaponry, various plants, and brightly colored pillows littered around the room. Your home is beautiful. Is this a monstera? It's lovely. Uh, thank you. I've been lucky, really. I know not all hunters catch a break like I have. Yeah, I still live in a hotel. Uh, plus, <laughs> real estate in this shithole is cheap. We share a laugh, but I can't help but feel a sense of urgency to discuss things Look, with her. <laughs> point. <laughs> anyway. I decide now is not the time for pleasantries or stalling. Cutting straight to the chase is the only way. I have some news about Aya. Her eyes widen, flicking to the side away from me. Aya? Aya? Oh, sorry, that's your line. Aya! Please don't say what I think you're going to. She's not dead, I don't think. I pull the sa- uh, I pull the sash from inside my coat and present it to her, but I'm quick to reassure. This was found in the woods, but that doesn't mean... She could still be alive, Piper. This has clearly been out there for a while. She reaches out and runs her hands over the ruined fabric, her fingers shaking. With a deep inhale, she withdraws, turning to sit upon the arm of her sofa. Why are you here? I have got questions. She looks so sad, like she's only thinking the worst. I don't blame her, and I cannot imagine how frustrated she must feel with the hand she's been dealt. I wanted you to know that I spoke to August last night. They were quite honest with me about, well, everything, really. Oh, they were. Um, I suppose they told you why I was demoted, demoted then? Yes. I acted without rational thought. I was so bloody angry. I offer her a smile, trying to catch her gaze. Uh, well, uh, I may or may not have been caught doing exactly as you did. You didn't. I did. I nod, feeling a little smug now that the fear of being reprimanded by my enforcer has dissipated. I broke into Augustus Willenheim's office and lived to tell the tale. Fucking brilliant. You've got guts, I'll give you that. I shrug, brushing it off, grateful that the mood has shifted to something that feels a little lighter. You know, August regrets how everything happened. They seem wistful. I think they missed your friendship. She frowns deeply, fiddling with the edge of her tunic. They at me, and I think it will take me a while to get over that. It wasn't even about the punishment, it was that they didn't believe me. You work with someone for all that time, but when it comes down to it, they think I've gone mad. Why would I make up such a thing? Exactly! Everyone jokes about us and our instincts, but they don't understand. When we feel something, we really feel it, you know? I know. I nod, because I do know. Whatever lies within us that grants us our abilities is something we cannot shake or ignore. If we sense someone is in pain or they're scared, we feel it in kind. If we love, we love fully. If we can feel that something feels off, it usually is. They employ us to do what we do for a reason. I wish they'd have a better understanding of what or how we feel. She scoffs a quiet laugh, rolling her eyes and offering me a small smile. If only. Anyway, down to brass tacks. If August wishes to make amends, I welcome their apology, apology, but it will take me a while to trust them again. Understandable. I was humiliated and betrayed by one of my only friends. They've got some begging to do. <laughs> yeah. Now that I'd like to see. I would. I would. I would. Shit. Me too. We have similar tastes, Piper. Cheers to that. I'll get you a front row seat if it ever happens, all right? Yeah. Deal. Now, I have a proposition. Oh? Let's get married. <laughs> Let's get married. Mm. Let's get You'll married. You'll never walk alone. Okay. Okay. You're flirting. <laughs> you're literally on a path and you're flirting. I know what Are I'm you doing. On a path? No, we haven't picked it yet, okay, but I'm just, mentally just on a path. 
Yeah. I thought we'd gotten to the point where you got to choose a path. Have we not? I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I swear we had. No, because we, we we wanted because we had the 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 lunar festival thing, and we wanted to use the route of the person we dated at the lunar okay, festival. So, so we were like trying. Thing. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, we haven't actually like. Picked, picked. Okay, I understand. No. <laughs> Sorry yeah. for accusing you of cheating when you haven't committed. Um, I'm going to cheat anyway. Convent. What's this proposition, dear general? Pick my hand, Piper. We're going into the dungeons. You what? I said we. <laughs> She bursts into laughter, her shoulders shaking. Then, a pause, and she registers that I might not be joking. Wait, you're serious? Yeah, I'm seriously crazy. I can't help but laugh at her furious expression. You're a real idiot, you know. Are you jealous of my shameful demotion or something? Hmm? Yes. Being a mage isn't that exciting, you ass. Why are you grinning like that? I take her hand and she tugs me closer. Because we're doing it together, so we'll be just I can't just believe fine. you're seducing everyone into going along with your plan. Like, that's, I... what you, that's what your character is doing. You don't have to do that, but that's how you're doing it. I know I don't have to do it. Leave me out of this. So cheesy. I don't know why I like you so much. I'm literally, like, I came to town, and I was like, anyway, whose panties are dropping you first? You came to town, and you were like, I'm gonna be horny. On main. I came to town. I came to town and I was like, baby, you're the only one for me. And I said it seven or eight times. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> did, did you say this line already? Yeah, I did. I don't remember. I did. She shoves me away playfully, her eyes sparkling, deliciously flirtatious. So come on, Vim. What's the plan? That's the thing. Well, I'm still putting the pieces together. You inspired me, though. Good, good to know some good comes out of my suffering, I suppose. Do you have any tips? Any kinks you encountered on your yeah. journey? <laughs> yeah, begging. The fact that I didn't even get to the door would indicate that I failed pretty miserably, wouldn't you say? Yeah. There are wards. There are guards. It's pretty, it's pretty impossible, unless... Unless I go down there for crime. Unless? Well, you know Ezra, don't you? That witch is more than a pretty face, you know. Speak to him, see if you can convince him to help. <laughs> okay. She's right. I've seen him use wards at a shop, and from what I saw of his magic the other day... I could kiss you. I won't, though. I'm on the, the other route. Oh, really? Well, I wouldn't blame you. When you're ready, you know I've got your back. Always. I'm right. <laughs> that, that's that's where it ends. She's like, I could kiss you, and you're like, I'm so, I've I, I've committed enough that I can't I can't do that. I have to go. <laughs> I, I gotta go. 